you know, when you're not aware of sexual um, sexual um, abuse or sexual in general, um, you know, you're not, you're just basically naive. And I was just one of those naive guys, eh? Just no idea, so. Cooper Island Indian Residential School has cast a shadow over Penelica tribe elder Raymond Charlie's life for over half a century. Now, the survivor is turning his trauma into teachings by writing a book about how the residential school system has affected his life. In the shadow of the red brick building recounts Charlie's time inside the system. And a warning to our viewers, some of what Charlie has to say may be upsetting to hear. Charlie began attending Cooper Island School in 1966, but on a school band trip to Expo 67 in Montreal, Charlie and his brother were told to stay behind by a trip supervisor and brother of the Catholic Church. And so he said the next night, he said, well, your turn to come sleep on a hide a bed with me. And uh, I, I just said, okay. And so the morning after that, my brother says, well, did he do, do funny things to you? And I said, yes, but we really couldn't talk about it because Brian was with us for that whole, whole week. And uh, so we never got any time together to uh, speak about it. But he just said that comment. But he, I said, yes, Brian did. I just nodded my head. So I really couldn't do anything. So that was my first encounter of sexual abuse from uh, residential school. Charlie says he kept a weekly journal as he entered therapy to process his trauma. And those journals now form the basis of In the Shadow of the Red Brick Building, which Charlie has successfully crowdfunded and plans to release in September. Through it, Charlie says he hopes people will have a greater understanding of how survivors like him have been affected by the residential school system. But he adds that he also hopes that the church and federal government will take responsibility for a system that helped enable the abuse of children like him. I, I, I don't think it's going to happen eh? because uh, I don't think the can Canadian government wants to be to be liable uh, or admit they will talk generally about those uh, episodes that occurred, but they won't directly uh, comment or um, commit anything. A 24-hour National Indian Residential School crisis line continues to remain open to support residential school survivors and others affected. The number is listed on the bottom of your screen. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.